Hey there and welcome to your yoga class. We are doing yoga for a great sleep today. Just a quick 10 minutes before you go to bed and it'll help you have a more restful night. So we're going to sit on our bottoms and try and sit in a way that one shins in front of the other. So don't cross your legs, have one in front of the other. And then we're going to turn and face over our left thigh and slowly fold forward just as far as you can. Now your head might be in a block. We're going to be here for a few breaths or you can make two fists and prop your head up with them. And just start to feel that lovely stretch across your back and up your side. And we're going to be here for a few breaths. So just start to relax. So starting to think about moving again, maybe deepening the breath slightly and then slowly just pushing against the floor, coming up really nice and slowly because we've been here for a good, a good minute now. And just to loosen off, we're going to have a couple of seated cat cows. So hands on your knees and we're just going to tilt our chest forward and up and our head back slightly, then pushing back on the exhale. So inhaling chest forward, exhaling push back get that lovely stretch over your shoulders so just doing a few of these to reset after that nice big long stretch and before that we do the other side so swap your feet over so put the right foot in front or the other one and remember to turn and face over your right thigh first of all and then just slowly come forward it your back doesn't need to be straight. Your head might be sitting on your knee, on a block, on a cushion. It doesn't matter. Or on your fists, just like that. So again, just relaxing, feeling the stretch on the other side this time. And we're going to be here for the same amount of time. A nice full 10 breaths or so, about just over a minute. And remember to try and keep those seat bones on the floor. Don't be lifting your bottom off the floor so that you can feel the stretch in your back. So just adjust in the position as well as you need to. If you're folding forward and you start to feel pain in your knees or your back, just back off and come up a little bit here. That's it. So just slowly walking your hands up again, nice and slow, hands on your knees again. We're going to do those cat cows. So chest forward and up and then back and inhaling on the way up and exhaling on the way down. Just taking a few of these just to loosen off. So coming to put your legs in front of you now. So legs out in front. You don't have to have straight legs. Remember, you can have a wee bend in your knees, but a nice straight back. Okay, we're going to do a nice forward fold here. So just curling the head forward and the spine forward. Your feet are about hip width apart as well. And pop the top of your hands on the floor because this is a really nice passive stretch. So let your head be the weight your feet are flopping out to the side. Remember to bend those knees and it's really, really passive. And again, if you've got a bolster or blocks or something or a pillow that you want to rest your head on, you certainly can do feeling the stretch and just bending your knees just like that if you need to. If the straight legs are, is just too much for you. 
and just taking nice big deep breaths. This is really calming for the nervous system, really nice stretch for the spine and if you feel you want to go further at any point, just feel free to do that. So just start to think about coming back up and push up with your hands, don't sit up too abruptly. And then we're going to come down to lie on the floor. So taking your time to come to the floor and you're going to bring your left knee into your chest, pull it into your chest first of all, then guide it over with your right hand so that you're in a twist. So that left hand's out nice and straight on the other side in a T position and you're crossing over. So you're on the side of your hips here, but your shoulder blades are on the floor. So only come over as much as is comfortable for you to get a really nice spinal twist in here. Just using that right hand to guide the distance to suit you. And so coming back round, you're going to stay with the left leg here. And what you're going to do is lift it up to the ceiling. So bring the sole of your foot up to the ceiling and hold on to the back of your thigh if you want to. If you've got a strap here at this point as well, you could use that. Leg doesn't need to be straight. So just stretching the hamstring and the calf and do some ankle circles here. You can point and flex your foot as well if you want. But circle your ankle both directions. It's all optional just to get a nice stretch off and onto the other side. So right knee into your chest, give that glute a nice stretch first of all, then guide it over to the left with the right hand and the right hand is out in a T position. Just as much as is comfortable, keep those shoulder blades on the floor. Because this is all designed just to release any tension from your day and to slow your heart rate down and to prepare your body for a really nice restful sleep. So just stay in there for a few breaths. And then coming back round again, we're going to do that hamstring stretch. So holding on to the thigh, hold on to wherever is available for you. It doesn't need to be the thigh just circling the ankles or pointing and flexing the feet you might have a strap as well on the, those the ball of that foot if that's easier for you the main thing is is to stretch the hamstring and give the ankles a little release as well so just letting that foot back down there we're going to bring the knees into the chest for a quick stretch then we're going to come into happy baby so holding on to the outside of your feet and just pulling your legs sort of out and down, elbows to the inside of your knees. You can hold on to the back of the thighs as well here if that's easier. And you can do a wee roll side to side as well into happy baby position. Really nice big, big hip opener, releases a lot of the tension from the hips here. And then coming into your Shavasana position. Feet out to the side of your mat, just flopping out, top of the hands on the floor. And just winding down even more, feeling restful and just preparing the body for a really nice night's sleep, feeling how your short practice has affected your body, your limbs are nice and stretched now and you're ready to relax. So just starting to invite a little bit of movement back in now. Have a big stretch if you need to. 
or you could pop straight into your bed if you want, if that's handy. But whatever you do, come up slowly and roll onto your side first to come up. Don't make it too fast and just sit with a nice cross leg position with your hands at your heart and just sit still for just a second. And we'll finish off with a Namaste as well. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me again. I hope you sleep tight and that that has prepared your body for a long and wonderful night's sleep. I'll see you next time.